But at the end of the day, the Series S is a more capable gaming console. You have an SSD button, you have way more RAM, I'm pretty sure. And you have just a humongous gaming library on this gaming console too. And that's why the Series S is obviously the better con console. I've said it since the beginning of this video. But that still doesn't take away the things that, you know, the specific console was able to do at that time. The 360, I think, means a lot more to the whole entire Microsoft atmosphere than the Series S or Series X ever will. And even if you look at, maybe not the original Xbox One, but if you look at like the One X, even the the One S, all the 360, even if you look at the 360S or 360E, those are definitely good consoles, but the one that we always remember are the original ones. We always remember the 360, the first one that came out. I didn't even know that much about the 360E, barely even the 360S. I knew the most about the 360, the original one, and now with the Xbox One, we kind of look at that one as that kind of the originator, and then we look at the One S and the One X, but honestly, I think a lot more people fell in love with the One S to be honest, and that kind of makes me think with this console genre, the series, lineup are are, the, are we going to look at the series s and x as the originators like we saw with the 360 or are we going to look at you know the second console kind of like how i viewed the xbox one lineup how i saw the one s as kind of the you know main one in a way or are we going to look at the last lineup you know is it like one two three is the third and the best xbox series console is that one going to be the one that we look back 10 years from now and be like yes that was the best one that was the originator that was the one that everyone knows about and it makes me think, but I will tell you, when you look back from the Xbox Series as the latest and greatest, and you compare it to something that came out many, many years ago, I think 2006 or whatever was this 360, maybe even earlier, we can definitely see some improvements, but it's also very interesting to see the similarities. The controllers look the same. The box design of the 360e kind of is still recycled over to the Series S. We look at the overall lineup and port selection. A lot of things have changed, but some things have stayed consistent, and even we've seen some ports go down. From the front of the 360, we had two USB ports. Now we only have one on the back. Now we only have one on the front. And it's very interesting to see the things that have changed, the things that have stayed the same, but I will definitely tell you, in my opinion, for sure, the Series S is the best console. It's the better one out of all these, but the original 360s, man, it just doesn't really get much better than that. When you look at it and just feel the nostalgia that comes from having these older consoles, there's definitely no feeling like it, and I would definitely tell you the Series S may be a better console right now, but the original 360s will probably have a bigger impact on the whole entire gaming industry than the Series S probably in my opinion. So that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really discount, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well, my Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.